Hello and welcome to another inspirational segment here on the Destiny Page channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk with you about one of the most crucial reasons to forgive. For someone who is watching right now, the next three minutes of this video could lead you to making one of the best decisions you've ever made in your entire life. And that is to forgive someone who has wronged you. And here's why. You may have heard before that when we forgive, we not only free the forgiven individual, but more so, we liberate ourselves of the weight and burden that the bitterness of unforgiveness brings with it. But while all of that is true and vital to our health and well-being, there is yet another crucial reason to forgive. To make that very plain, let me quote you a scripture taken from the Word of God, from the Bible. It is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. And here's what it says. It tells us that if we forgive those who trespass against us, our Father in heaven will forgive us our trespasses. But if we do not forgive those who trespass against us, he will not forgive us of our trespasses. So have you been struggling to forgive someone who has wronged you over a period of time? Well, if you have been struggling with that issue of forgiveness, it is time to go to God in prayer and ask him to melt your heart, to soften your heart so that you can feel the, 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 the feeling of forgiveness. You can be able to get to that place of forgiveness to forgive that individual or those individuals who have wronged you so that God indeed can also forgive you of your sins. And it is also crucial because when Christ returns and you have to face judgment, you want to face judgment with your sins forgiven so that you can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Because with unforgiven sins, and we are facing judgment with our unforgiven sins, it is not likely that such an individual will make it into the kingdom of heaven. So we do need to have our sins forgiven and our trespasses. So we do need to take heed and forgive others so that God indeed can forgive us. But most importantly, at the end of the day, what it boils down to is love. And so that is the place that we need to get to. We need to get to that place where we're able to love our brothers and sisters, fellow human beings, our neighbors, so that when we, for, when we say we forgive, it will be genuine because it will be coming from a place of love. To genuinely forgive is to genuinely love. If we don't have that genuine love for, for others, it is going to be very difficult to genuinely forgive. But with love, compassion, understanding, we'll be able to genuinely forgive individuals when they wrong us and when they trespass against us. So let us pray, let us continue to pray that uh, the Father in heaven will allow us to have, will give us the mind like Jesus Christ, give us the heart like Jesus Christ, and, and give us understanding and give us give us a compassion and tender hearts so that we can indeed love the way that God has called us to love one another. He, in fact, he has asked us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And that's the kind of love that allows us to get to that place of genuine forgiveness. So it is easy to say, oh, I've forgiven that person and, and uh, I, I'm over it. Yet oftentimes our attitude and our behavior towards that person and the, and the way we talk about that individual, it is clear that forgiveness has not taken place. So let us be careful that we, we are truly forgiving so that God can forgive us. So let us pray that we will love people so that we can indeed forgive. So spread the word along and stay blessed. Take care of yourself and remember to take heed to the word. Because when the trumpet shall sound and Christ shall return, you want to be saved in the kingdom of heaven. God bless. Remember to like, share, subscribe. 
And also feel free to comment. I'd like to hear from you. Take care of yourself and bye for now.